Hey guys, we are at 1235 Red Red Butt, Red Boot, Red Butte, whatever you want to call it. This home is located in beautiful Lajola Hills. Uh, it's a neighborhood right below Green Springs, kind of towards towards the middle of that mountain, if you will. And the frontage of the property looks awesome. I think it has great curb appeal. You have a nice massive driveway that kind of wraps around to that side area. A little bit of grass, a couple of big mature palm trees, and this entire neighborhood looks really well taken care of, super manicured. The HOA takes care of the landscaping, so literally everybody's landscaping looks pristine. Everybody's grass is cut uniformly and every home just looks super neat. I'll, um, I'll pop into the clubhouse and show you guys the amenities that this uh, neighborhood has to offer as well. But let's take a closer look at this house. It's a three bed, two and a half bath, and I believe almost 2,600 square feet. So the layout is perfect if you don't need a ton of bedrooms. I feel like that's a great utilization of space that really gives you a great amount of space for each bedroom and all the living spaces. The front, again, has some beautiful landscaping, some plants, and a little, little hangout area in this covered patio out front. Looks like at one point or another, maybe they had some, some vines that went up this wall and it looks like they may have been removed. Nice solid wood door and as soon as we enter the front opens up to this massive, I don't even want to call it a hallway. It's like a massive foyer area. So you have this formal, formal dining, sitting room, whatever you want to call this area, but it kind of, it's all this just big open space right off the front door. Absolutely love that. So let me turn around to give you kind of a better idea. So as you enter through the front door, this hallway takes you to the bedrooms, living room, kitchen area, primary bedroom, all the way to the right. And if I turn to the left, there's this little nook and an office. Now this office could also be used as a bedroom, it has beautiful French doors with some frosted glass and it has a couple of built-ins. It looks like this, this entire desk is quite possibly built-in, although I may have to, no, it is definitely built-in. Um, and then right across from that desk, we have a Murphy bed that folds down. Nice flooring. Paint looks to be in really great shape. Um, everything looks super well maintained. The home looks and smells good. Those are the things that are tough, tough to portray through a video. <laughs> so this the center space is kind of separated from the front entry. I'll turn around from here and give you guys kind of a better look. So that's our formal dining or den. And then the office, really nice big open hallway that takes us um, into the other bedrooms. Here we have a coat closet. It's a good size coat closet. Let's explore the living room. Really nice open space with nice tray ceilings. Lots of windows that open to the backyard. 
And then this is connected to the kitchen. Absolutely love the size of this center island. This granite has a live edge, which I'm also a huge fan of. That's a nice neutral gray color. Looks like this home has KitchenAid appliances. It's got a stainless steel refrigerator. It has, I don't know what this is. Is this a garbage compactor? I don't see those very often. Or is that an ice maker? No, that's a garbage compactor. Yeah, it's been a while since I have seen one of those. But kind of a cool touch. And take a look at the shape of this center island. It is absolutely massive. I think it looks great. It's got a double sink. Has a KitchenAid dishwasher. The dishwasher has a nice metal tray. And then there's the oven microwave and a matching KitchenAid gas cooktop. Up above, we have a nice fan that takes everything out. I love that everything is stainless steel and it matches really well. Cabinets look to be solid wood uh, faces with MDF shelves. They do not have a soft close. The same thing with the drawers, but everything looks to fit this home really well and function well. I'll take a step back and just to kind of give you guys an idea, look, this, uh, this dining area has a massive round table that has one, two, three, four, five, six, Room for six over here. You know, sometimes it's hard to tell from the video how, how large the space is. And that's another angle of the living room. There's a gas fireplace. Oh well, yeah, we were wondering about this pantry. So the pantry is built into this kind of a part of the house that separates the entry from the living room. Now this gives you a better perspective. And the pantry is not massive, but it is a walk-in pantry. And I'm assuming they didn't want to take a photo of it because well, no one's pantry is super organized. Although I have seen a couple. This is that Dan. And now we're going towards the garage. So as we go down this hallway, here we have the half bath, the powder, single sink vanity, toilet, and it's, it's pretty spacious for what it is. I believe this house has just one thermostat, so one climate zone. And this is the primary bedroom, laundry room, and another coat closet which it looks like they use it as a utility closet. So it's got some cleaning supplies in it. Let's check out the laundry room. The laundry room is connected to the garage. So a door will take us out in the garage. Plenty of room for washer, dryer, and some nice built-in cabinets. And it looks like their communication panel for internet access is right there. So internet, um, all of the coax outlets, usually everything terminates in there. <clears throat> Primary suite has plenty of space. Look, it's got a pretty large computer desk. Looks like a California King, an Ottoman, a little chair, and that window up above is a really nice touch kind of move around to give you guys a better perspective on the overall dimensions. And check out these pendants. How cool is that? 
You've got some pendant lights right beside either side of the bed and they are placed perfectly to be up above the nightstand. Although that one looks to have something going on around where it was mounted, but not too terrible. So there is no door uh, that separates the ensuite from this bedroom, but there's a curtain rod and they, they put up some curtains. So here we have a large enclosed walk-in shower with a really low trash hold, nice corner top, a single vanity, strangely, some nice cabinets, nice large mirror, some frosted glass up above, two sets of light fixtures. Give you guys another view of this angle before we advance. A really good size water closet. The sink looks kind of cool. Even though it'd be probably more useful if it was a dual vanity, but this is unique. It looks like a rock that got carved. And the primary closet has some really nice built-ins. And it's quite spacious. Okay, while we are in this wing of the house, Let's check out the garage. So it's kind of interesting. The, the two car section is actually completely walled off from that single car garage. So it's a pretty good size. It's got, you know, it's got some bikes hanging up on the wall, a moped tandem bike and you could probably easily still park two cars in here there's some nice shelving I'll walk across to give you guys a better perspective oh I'm not sure why that stove is plugged in looks like they've got a stove in this garage that's interesting not sure what surface uh, what purpose that serves but there's extra counter space, some more built-ins, some nice cabinets right there. Looks like this home has a newer water heater, reverse osmosis system, uh, or not reverse osmosis, I'm sorry, a water softener that uh, softens the whole home and some sort of filtration system that's in line. It's a nice touch. And this is the single car garage. Wow, it looks like they have a, a classic Ford in here. Maybe a 1930s, maybe from that era. That is so cool. So the single, single bay, has enough room for a Model T, two refrigerators, some golf clubs, and that side door will take you outside. Let's head back inside and explore the guest wing of this house. So it's kind of nice that you know, as you walk in through the garage, your primary bedroom is right there. And then all the other bedrooms are all the way across the house, completely on the other side. So as we walk past the living room, there's this kind of a pass-through window that looks kind of cool. It's got, it's got, its function to kind of divide and separate the space a little bit. So there's a bedroom right here with a Jack and Jill bath that connects us to this bedroom, but more about that in just one moment. 
let's check out this closet. So it's just a hallway closet that has a set of French doors on it. Very great use of that space. And there's lots of lights in this house. So there's a, there's a can right here. There's lots of cans throughout every hallway. And there's also that wall scone. But let's check out this bedroom. So it looks like this bedroom has maybe a full, probably get away with putting even a king in here, maybe a queen, comfortably. Two large windows. A good size walk-in closet. And then it's connected to a Jack and Jill ensuite. So this, this bedroom connects, or this bathroom with a dual vanity. Really like this color combination between the vanity and the countertops. And there's two little windows up above. It's kind of cool. I like a lot of these architectural design features in this home. So there's more storage in this bathroom. bathroom. Have a closet for some towels and some linens and then there's also the bath is separated from the rest of this ensuite so you have a full shower tub combo in here with a single shower head a water closet right across and this bedroom has two bunk beds I'm guessing these folks had some grandchildren or many maybe many grandchildren and this room is quite spacious too because you know these bunk beds are not small so it just has one window access to that Jack and Jill bath and its own closet and it is also a walk-in closet it's really good, really good size. The only place that we have not explored yet is the backyard. Let's go check it out. And on my way out of here, I'll pop into the clubhouse pool area just to give you guys an idea what that looks like. So, the landscaping is covered by the HOA. So everything looks kind of perfect. And there's this massive covered patio that has a fan and light fixture. It fits a really good sized table. They have room for their Traeger sitting area. And that slider takes us inside the home. Let's explore this side yard first. So this takes us all the way to the front of the property. There's a little concrete patch to you know put the trash cans, have some room for that. But AC unit looks to be brand new. It looks like it got replaced recently, which is a big plus. Now the backyard does not have any kind of rear fencing but there's a common area right in between. So the edge of that property goes up to that landscaped area. And then your neighbors have a similar size backyard, but there's more of that common area in between separating everybody. So I feel like actually makes it decently private. We've got this massive palm tree right here too. I'm just going on a hike in this backyard to go all the way back to give you guys a better idea. So this common area goes all the way up the hill and there's a decent amount of privacy without having unsightly walls in between. And you've got, you know, some trees and some shrubbery. So if somebody really wanted to look into this backyard, it's not super visible. So I'm walking across that common area right now just to kind of give you guys an idea. 
Okay, let me go shut everything down and I will show you guys what the amenities look like. We are now at the clubhouse and I have never seen this many mature trees in one place in Southern Utah. This place feels like a little oasis. Like to give you guys an idea, this entire neighborhood, I'm just a few blocks away from the home but like literally every single property in this neighborhood looks this neat. It is a very, very, very pristine community. So there's a couple of pickleball and tennis cores right there to the right. And I believe this community has an indoor and outdoor pool and a clubhouse. Of course, I did not bring the access card to get in, but we'll see if one of these doors might be open. Nice large parking lot, and I believe that you could actually reserve the clubhouse for any events. Um, if you have like, a lot of family in town or something like that. It's a really good sized clubhouse. Maybe we can just peek through the window if I can't get in. <clears throat> so it's a front entry right there. And then this must be the indoor pool. And then you could kind of see the fitness center and the outdoor pool just on the other side. Looks like they have this place pretty well locked down. They should have brought the key card. There was a key card hanging up. But if you have any more questions about the clubhouse, I will find some answers for you guys. Please let me know what you think about this property. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. I'll be happy to find you some answers. Thanks. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you could think of anybody that would love living in this house, please share this video with a friend. And of course, if you're even remotely considering moving to Southern Utah, please do not hesitate to reach out to us with any questions that you may have anytime. We absolutely love helping people move into this beautiful area. In the next few seconds, YouTube will give you a couple of recommendations right here for the videos that may be helpful for you.